Much appreciated. What a weird way of saying appreciated. Much appreciated. Hello friends and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Today we're going to a bookshop. Hopefully just an ordinary, normal, Euclidean <laughs> bookshop. That would be nice after the trials and tribulations of the last couple of episodes of this game. Um, we've made it back to London. Sherlock doesn't feel great about it. Uh, well, doesn't feel great in general. Mycroft is a bit pissed off. Um, but we've got this, this book and... We need to find someone who can tell us more about it. And we happen to know that Barnes is a, a dab hand with decrypting things. So let's go. Another sinking near Scotland. Buy the strand for the details. Well, that seems pressing. All right, let's buy the strand for all the details of this. You're going to catch a cold, young man. Cool. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Killing Tempest article. Storm of the Century. That sounds bad and related. The Tempest, which many already call the Storm of the Century, has been raging west of Lacaba, Lacaba's coastline over the past fortnight. Fortnight? Storms aren't meant to last that fucking long. Officials are alarmed by signs of the storm's intensification. The storm is taking a toll on shipping and seamen's lives with 34 ships reported lost. Even as this article goes to press, hundreds of lives hang in the balance with seamen struggling against the element. Sadly, the Royal Navy rescue was forbidden to launch any search parties due to the dangerous conditions. Her Majesty Queen Victoria held an emergency meeting with her ministers about the crisis along our coast, and it was learned that similar phenomena of lower importance are occurring around the world. Of lower importance. Does that mean they're not as intense, or that we just don't really give a shit because they're somewhere else in the world? Probably both! This is Victorian London. In other news, a French thief with the initials AL is toying with Scotland Yard. Okay. Uh, cryptic message to Ash Ashmat. When the storm starts, where the ships fall, at Stevenson's guiding light, the last embrace of all the chosen, kind of feels like they're trying to summon possibly Cthulhu himself off the coast of Scotland, huh? Uh, and this is the Bayou's Cursed Book, uh, which we need to have a conversation about, according to the UI. Let's go talk to Barnes about it. Who is the cult leader and what is their goal? And what is the cryptic message for Ashmat about? These are the questions we have to answer today. We shall answer them by going to see Barnes, who doesn't live Another down that way. Oh, hello. What the fuck? That's striking and weird and creepy. That kid has got some pipes on him. I can hear him from bloody miles away. Right, Barnes. New books in the store. Now, here's the question. Is he getting it on with the flower woman yet? Dr. Watson, how nice to see you, despite the inclement weather. At least my flowers are enjoying the rainfall. Hmm. All right, keep your secrets. Barnes. Me old Macca. How are you? It has been a while, Barnes. Mm. Dr. Watson. Indeed it has, and good to see you as always. Uh, how can I help? Now, he seems just as nervous as ever. Uh, you seem happy. Someone is full of pep. Oh, uh, yes. Oh. Mr. Holmes, he, yep. he was quite the inspiration. Uh. Last time you were in town, he offered me some stirring advice, which I have since acted upon. Holmes is nothing if not provocative. Indeed. Indeed. The thorny Ooh. truth is often hard to hear, but it did the job, and now my heart is full. More like horny I'm glad truth. To hear it. Whoa. Much obliged, Doctor. Uh, about Stevenson's guiding light. Barnes, does Stevenson's guiding light mean anything to you? Uh, well, my mind first goes to Robert Louis Stevenson, oh. an up-and-coming author. <laughs> I've been following his work in the periodicals. Up and Interesting man. I take it his literary pursuits are somewhat of a deviation from the family business. Or oh, what makes you say that? He wrote a poem. Let me see if I have it still. Uh, yes. Say not of me that weakly I declined the labours of my sires and fled the sea, the towers we founded and the lamps we lit. Oh. Mm. The labours of his sires. I wonder what they do. I have a book on great British families. If the Stevensons have achieved anything of note, 
They will be in there. Well, then. Please, feel free to take a look. It, it should be on the shelves to the right. Thank you. Much obliged. Oh, this is nice. This is more what I'm... This is what I'm after this week. You take care. Browsey, browse, browse. Browse a bookshop. That's all we need to do. Hello? <gasps> Who is this? Take care of your master. Oh, that's right. You've got a puppy to... Oh, but that's her dog. Oh, things are going well. You've got a puppy to catch her attention, I believe. Is that right? Let's see now. Oh, aha. Books. And a panting. For some reason, it makes my skin crawl. It ought to. Great British family. This volume... Families. This volume gathers facts, stories and gossip about the members and successors of great British families. It is a somewhat chauvinistic account of Britain's finest. Interesting. Well, let's have a look at it, shall we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Search this in the archives. Location. England. Period. Now. Title. Hmm. Achievement. Hmm. This is my sires. Philanthropy? No. Barons? Wait, achievement. Maritime? Medicine? Exploration? Politics. Nothing. Okay. Let's search again. Let's try again. Location. Oh, what about Scotland? Because... Was Stevenson Scottish? Scottish author Robert Louis Stevenson is right there in the thing. Scottish. I'm in England. Here. This is London. Barnes Bookshop, if you will. Well, we don't know of any... Should we just search? No, we can't search. With We need at least three. Uh, should we do philanthropy? Search. Exploration. Search. Politics. Search. Maritime. Search. <laughs> of course it should be maritime. Stephen's Guiding Light. And that. Um, like uh, lighthouses and stuff. The book Great British Families briefly mentions the Stevensons famed for all their lighthouses... Across all of Scotland. There we go. Funnily enough, the first Stevenson in the lineage shares the name given as the latest, the author Robert Louis Stevenson. Ever since the Bell Rock Lighthouse's erection in 1810, the Stevensons have left their mark around Scotland via civil engineering feats in the maritime industry. Whether the lighthouses were built by Robert Stevenson or his sons, Alan, David and Thomas, sailors roaming Scotland's coastline have the dynasty to thank for guiding them to prosperity and safety. Well, well, well. Seems like we do know a little bit now about that. Um, so that is good. Let's talk to Barnes now about the book. Can you translate this? Last time we met, you mentioned your knack for translating occult texts. I was wondering if you could help me with this book. Certainly, I... Goodness. Where on earth did you procure this grimoire? Uh-oh. Grimoire doesn't sound That's a good. long story. What do you make of it? It seems to describe pagan rituals, ancient deities. Wow. What a marvel. A marvel, I yes. I can try and translate it for you. Please do. Um, just the pages bearing that symbol. This section, really. Entity of ocean or time. Oh, my. Oh, uh, already on it, as you can tell. <laughs> if you can have it done at your earliest convenience, that would be lovely. Lovely. All right. Barnes is first. Look at the book. Okay. Hello. What else have we got in here? A door. Interesting. Barnes. Barnes. Well, he's not going to have finished it now, but let's talk some... A moment, about. please. Spellbinding pages. Okay, well, we should probably report back to Sherlock, right? Let's see now. What is the cryptic message for Ashmat about? We need another... So, Stevenson family, absolutely. The cryptic message has to be in there. Barnes' first look at the book. No, we need a trans... Ah, Great British families. Okay, the Stevenson family is relevant. Okay. Well, we need, we need to wait on that, I think. So, yes, let us... We should head back out into the world, I suspect. Um, I guess we should probably just go home, right? Hmm. 
Imagine that guy is still like, where on earth is my servant? That Holmes is a, a, a bounder and a wastrel. Oh, we can just fast travel. Fuck it, let's go. Let's go home. Total 1B, Baker Street. Sherlock! This is Hudson! Still playing the violin, are we? Hello, old cock. As you were, Watson. Do what you must. Oh. Okay. Alright. Fine. Alright, so... We aren't just reporting straight back to him. Where else could we have gone? Stenwick's Manor. Well, I don't really see much point in going to Stenwick's Manor. Interesting. Okay. Uh, what? Maybe we should. Mm. Let's go back to Barnes. I suspect... We've not got everything we sh we might have out of him. Let's see if he's done now. Are you done? Are you quite finished, sir? Nearly done, Doctor. Have you found the book you're after? Oh, I have, actually. Yes. Barnes is... Yeah. Let's just first look at the book. Sure. Yeah, the book. Great British Families. There's not anything pinned on here to add. Maybe we can finish this. Killing Tempest article? Barnes' first look at the book. Oh, there. Good one, Johnny. Well done. Okay. The message mentions a place where the cult plans to gather. A lighthouse built by the Stevensons west of Loch Harbour, Scotland. Right. Who is the cult leader and what is their goal? Okay. All right. Now we can pin this and have a chat. Got it. Whoops. Well, it was nice to go see Sherlock anyway. Got any coastal maps? Say, do you possess coastal maps of Scotland? Indeed. Have you figured out what the Stevensons are known for? Feats of lighthouse engineering. You have my thanks for the book. My pleasure, Doctor. Do you need any particular part of the coast? Loch Harbour. Loch Harbour, West Coast. Mm. Right then, I'll unroll it on the desk. All right, thanks. What a helpful All yours. man Barnes is. In the meantime, I will attend to my translation. Oh, that's a nice map. Much appreciated. What a weird way of saying appreciated. Much appreciated. All right. Let's have a peek then. Skerivor Lighthouse. Located on the remote island of the same name, Skerivor Lighthouse lies southwest of the inhabited island of Tiri. Designed and built in 1844 by Alan Stevenson, the tower is a testament to the determination of the Empire's workers and engineers to make life safer for seamen. The lighthouse has seen six years of construction, with numerous men risking their lives to build this granite beacon of safety atop dangerous rocks. Bit of fun. There's another. Oh, ho, ho. I think the lighthouse isn't going to be on the map. That's what I reckon. Designed and built in 1849 by Alan Stevenson, the lighthouse lies at the western end of the Adnamurkin Peninsula in Loch Harbour. Oh, Loch Harbour. It architecturally and decoratively depicts... Egyptian influences, making it unique among Scottish lighthouses. Made of granite and bearing a strikingly black lantern, the tower soars to eight, uh, 118 feet above the rocks. Well, that does sound maybe a bit more eldritch. I don't know. Uh, Rubenangal? I probably fucked that up, but so sorry to anyone Scottish. Uh... It means strangers point in Scottish Gaelic. This simple yet elegant brick tower of light built in 1857 by David and Thomas Stevenson is not even the only one the dynasty erected that year. It is, a, it is 62 feet tall and bears a luminous range of 10 nautical miles, lighting the way for ships roaming the Sound of Mull. Okay. One, two, three, ah, four. Here we go. Barra Head Lighthouse. Located on the Outer Hebrides island of Barra Head, the lighthouse illuminates the southern entrance to the Minch. The tower, designed by Robert Stevenson and built by James Smith of Inverness in 1833, is made of stone. It is deemed the United Kingdom's highest lighthouse, standing at 682 feet above sea level. Okay. Well then, let us see. Lighthouses. Now we can talk about the Stevenson family. Doctor, look what I just found. Yes, you found something. Barnes, have you finished with the book? Yes, 
I've written out a translation of the section you wanted. It, uh, puts the Grim in grimoire. Uh-oh. I thought as much. Long story short, it details macabre rituals, death, leviathans, and the apocalypse. See for yourself. That seems bad. I must ask you to leave the book with me so I can read more of it. It's compelling. Very compelling. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm so that doesn't seem good. Uh, I don't think that would be wise. Please give it back. That said, I remain grateful for your immeasurable help. Oh, how disappointing. I hope you will consider lending it to me in the future. Good day, Doctor. Good day, Barnes. I might have just saved your life. Right then. Let's see. Ritual of Awakening. Barnes is approximate, if hasty, translation. Details a ritual for awakening a pagan god sleeping under the ocean. That would be Cthulhu, then. It involves a special chant, the strongest man of every ethnicity on Earth performed before they are to be sacrificed for the god's awakening. A creature with a pitch black face akin to an Egyptian sphinx must witness the ritual. That would be the lighthouse. If successful, the ceremony will destroy the world's seas and lands. Okie dokie. Right. The book's pagan god. The book depicts a vaguely anthropoid monster. It has an octopus-like head, its face being a mass of feelers, a scaly, rubbery-looking body, huge claws on its hind feet and four feet, and long, narrow wings. Well, that sounds like C Cthulhu, which... Allegedly isn't even the name of C Cthulhu. It is a, an approximation of the noise that it, it, it makes. Bayou's Cursed Book. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Ritual of Awakening. Let's just make sure it's not Barnes. A fascinating book. Okay. Thank you for the opportunity, Doctor. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm guessing we need to go back to CC Wombie Baker Street at this point because we've got some stuff to share with Sherlock Holmes. Mycroft. Oh. Here to buy a book on fraternal dysfunction. Hello. The Holmes family is beyond counselling, Doctor. True. More deserving of scientific study. Bang! What do you want? I came to warn you. Perhaps you have a moment to... Sorry, I reserve Tuesday afternoons for time with friends. Oh, you petty I'm little... about Sherlock. He's not well. You should know that he has had episodes in the past. Detachment from reality. He will need your support. Such gall. First you crush him under your boot heel, now you ask me to pick up the pieces. <laughs> your emotions are impeding your rationality. He needs to be distracted, diverted into something less harmful. Surely you jest. Only one thing shall truly bring him peace of mind, and that is solving his case. The last case he pursued so doggedly was Cordona. He came home a wreck, and this time I fear he may not return at all. You are not his father, Mycroft. Not anymore. He is a grown man, a brilliant man. I know you care for him. I just wish you also respected him. The crown cannot help you. But I can. Give him this. It's cocaine! What is it? A confidential note tied to his case. He may see value in it. Just do not tell him it came from me. Oh, speaking of the crown, perhaps you can help us with another matter? It requires some local knowledge. Tell me more. I'm all ears. For your eyes only. Here is a folder with all the details. Is this a teaser for the next game? A new case, The Lone Watcher. A new case. I don't have time for this. One of our informants, Philip Hawke, has not been in contact for the last few days. Please check his status. He's working on an investigation close to his lodgings. He's disabled and his home is next to one of your client's houses, Captain Stenwick. Report to me after you've visited. I'll be in the bookshop. No, I don't think I will. Profile of A. Rochester presumed dead. Lord H.P. Rochester. London billionaire married an American woman. They had a son named Archibald who moved east to take charge of his father's interests after finishing his education and reaching the age of majority. Archibald held many jewel mines in Australia and holdings in England. His wealth in gems rose immensely. In 1875, he boarded a ship to England. A storm sunk his ship. No crew member survived. Neither Archibald's family nor his gems were ever found. His father, Lord H.P. Love Rochester, died shortly thereafter with Lady Rochester moving to Boston and subsequently passing away. Several of the documented Rochester gems have recently resurfaced and been connected to Louisi Louisiana banks and the Black Edelweiss, among other locations. Right. Well, that explains a thing or two, and it could also explain who our cult leader is. 
but that's a bit of a pres I'm presumed dead. Uh, no, no, wait, hang on. Uh, yes, that is the right lighthouse. Ritual of Awakening. Archibald Rochester. Archibald Rochester is alive and leading a cult. He aims to conduct a monstrous ritual at Adnamurkin Lighthouse. By implication, the sacrifice of, of all the abductees of diverse, diverse ethnicities. Right. Let's go tell bloody well, bloody well, go bloody tell bloody Sherlock then. I'm sorry I can't help you with your other case, Mycroft, but the world literally hangs in the balance on this one. Where have you gone? There you are. Hello. I know everything. Holmes, I have the translation. But Barnes was affected by the book. Holmes? Watson? Did you hear me? Barnes was behaving oddly. But I was able to retrieve the book and his preliminary translation. I think we have a lead. Sherlock, what is it? I find myself burdened. It will come as no surprise that I tend towards obsession. Indeed, obsession of grants me the insights that have become my stock in trade, but my greatest asset. Yet I cannot deny this nature proves as much a hindrance as a boon. It has cost me friends, colleagues, brothers. And despite my obsession, as I contend with the matter at hand, no closer to understanding than when we began, I... Well, I must conclude that I am of no worth at all. Without an answer, what use is the question? Uh -oh. Sherlock, this is no time for despair. The book is real. Those men went mad. John, I fear that I am as mad as the rest of them. You are not mad. I bore witness to the same events that you did. I saw with my own eyes the inexplicable, the ghastly, and the unnatural. Mm -hmm. I can attest to their occurrence. So take heart, for it was as real as you or I. And thus, we must persist. Lives hang in the balance. Hooray! If you cannot see your word, then trust in me, for I see it. And I know of no other man capable of putting this matter right. Thank you, John. But that I possessed even half your courage. Pray tell, where does our journey end? Ardnamurkin, Scotland. Let's depart for Scotland and end the chapter. Well, shall we be off? Yes, of course. You can apprise me of your actions while we pack. Right. Yeah, sorry about it, Mycroft, but... Nah. At wit's end, complete chapter seven. But that's the name of the game! Adnamurkin Point. Okie dokie. There was an outline of Cthulhu! A squiddly diddly man! We're being watched. Holmes, if we don't make land soon, I fear we will join those missing souls. Uh-oh. have taken too many, John. Let's stop them from taking more, then. They've already bloody started. Shit. Okay. Big horrible lighthouse. The ritual is already underway. People are jumping from atop the Adnamurkin lighthouse into the depths of the sea. Well, let's get in there, then. Jumping or being pushed? Probably jumping, because they were driven to it. What's this then? Black featureless face, Egyptian motifs, manually broken. Yeah, it's both of them. All right. The door won't budge. Hits. Okay, the lighthouse ritual. The front entrance to the lighthouse is locked. Let's try and find a side entrance then. Oh, I hope they take their time. 
in uh, you know, all jumping off. Well, it's not this way. It'd be a really good time to have, like, some C4. Just blow our way in. Stack up on the door. Blast the entrance point. Infiltrate. Oh, no. See, lives hang in the balance here, and I'm not as smart as Sherlock Holmes. Oh, a lantern. Perhaps it's a path down. Oh, yes, look, and a path. Told you, not as smart. Okay, here we go. Clump, 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 clump. Wait, is this the way we came up? Wow, I'm really not smart. No, wait. What? No. No, this is different. Is this different? No. No, it isn't. This is the way we came up. Johnny, you are just an embarrassment. Wow, that was impressive. Don't panic. Oh, look. Some sort of clue. Barred and barricaded from the inside. Oh, that's no good. Okay. Barricaded, eh? There must be another way in. Otherwise, the world's going to end. You see that glow atop the lighthouse? Yes. I have never seen anything like it. Yeah, it's not good. Not good at all. What else have we got? There must be something. Bad and barricaded. Bad and barricaded, from the inside. barricaded. Oh, look, a different lantern in a different path. If this leads back down to the starting area again, and I suspect it will, then I, I give up. Oh no, wait, look. Cave? Gift shop? Ooh. Oh, this is interesting. Aha! What the fuck is this? An odd cave wall. A cult pattern, grooved indentation. Ouroboros, ah. a snake eating itself. An ancient symbol of eternal renewal. Scratches on the floor. Fresh marks, something scraped along the stone. This, is this door. door requires a very specific key. Okay. All we need now, then, is a very specific key. How to stop the ritual? Well, we... I don't know. Uh, okay. An odd cave wall. has a groove that looks like an unusual lock. An old cannon, probably rusting here since the 16th century. Focus, Holmes. What have we got here? Where did the shirt come from? Hmm. Oh, a corpse. Holmes, look, there's a body here. Not just any body, it's Ashman. Shit. What? It's the soft touch. He died recently. Oh. His eyes are gouged out. Okay. Dive with a knife in his hand, though. Scratches, bruises, and stabs, all self inflicted. Ah. Not good, then. The infamous curved dagger. It's tied firmly to his hand. Oh. A broken chain. Something was attached to the end. But he succumbed to all those wounds. Yes. Okay. Well, that's different. Oh, what we got here? What's this? Blood. Were we supposed to come this way and find Ashmat? Or were we supposed Aha. Splash of blood, small pool, non-arterial wound. Finger grooves, disturbed mud, searching for something. Burying something? Kithas? This branch was recently broken. The wood is still green. A human sized imprint. Someone fell on their back. Whatever Ashmat had secured to his chain, he lost it here. Okay.
Oh, oh, look, 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 look. It's a. Uh... Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, that's horrible, isn't it? Okay, I'm a little confused. Well, there must simply be more things to spot. And yet this is some sort of dead end. We must have missed some more things. Ashmat died here. Is there anything else we can find? Right, we need the bets. Eh, eh, eh. There's not going to be loads more up here, is there? Because Ashmat died there and hasn't moved since. To gouging out his own eyes. Not pleasant. So. Ooh, what was that? Oh no, it's just the sea. Okay, understood. Ah, there we go. That's what we need. More evidence. Strange sigils drawn in blood, partially washed away. Need data. Can we interact with them at all? Or this? No. Strange sit was drawn in blood, partly washed away. Have we got everything here? Let's check the... Hello, Ashmat's body. Oh, we should pin this. Ashmat, the man who kidnapped Darnison is dead. His body lies on the rocks that push the gap. Lighthouse, his eyes were gouged out. His own knife is tied firmly to his right hand. His body is covered in wounds, which seem to have been inflicted by Ashman himself. There is a chain tied to his belt. The last link is broken, and whatever was attached is gone. He lost an important item that was attached to his chain. It might still be somewhere around the small tree where he fell over. Oh, look. He ran into the branch? It looks like. Okay. Oh, what's this? Thick bushes, something could fall here, nothing inside. He crossed the ocean twice with his cult, only to end up splattered on this rock. Seems everyone is disposable. Does seem that disposable. Oh, hello, what's this? Shiny, metallic, lost. <laughs> Interesting occult pattern. Interesting occult pattern. Yes, I'd say. Scratches. This medallion saw frequent use. What drove him to this dreadful act? I fear we are about to see for ourselves. Right. Don't need to pin that anymore. Let's pin the occult medallion. It would seem we have found the key. Whee! An odd cave wall. It is odd, all right. Yes! At least we're out of the bloody rain. The Stevensons built this. Pissing hell. What have you got to say about this, Doctor? Ashmat was a murderer, cruel and corrupt. Mm. And yet I cannot help but feel a strange pity for him. He was used. He was used all right, and then tossed aside. Two evidence updated. The lighthouse ritual. There's an underground passage on the island that may lead to the lighthouse proper. Yep. An odd cave wall. No. Underground caves. Tunnels under the lighthouse lead to two large caverns. The walls are covered with ancient murals depicting a ritual of some kind. Probably the ritual of awakening. Hey. What do you reckon? Oh, shitting hell. Oh, we don't like this. First we go shopping. Then we go out clubbing. Oh, no. No, this is more of a... Then we're we're in prison, but they're in prison. We feed the fishes. Okay, wait. Let's look at this the other way. We 
come out of the rocks. Mim mim mim. We love blood. Mim mim mim. Once we've had some blood, we pack up a crate full of butter. We stock the shelves with the butter, and then we leave with our friends. Okay. Right. It would be nice to work out what we're even trying to work out here. Where's it gone? Mind pass. How to stop the ritual. Okay, so we need to analyze these murals, I think. Where can we interact with them? Or are they just here as set dressing? That feels weird. That would be unusual. Here's a fire bowl of some description. This is a, ah, some sort of doorway. Sealed shut and seemingly for a long time. Okay, good. So the fishmen haven't come out to play. It really is quite creepy, isn't it? All right. Then if we go back in here. There we go. Let's go around here. The second cavern. Oh, that's a gougy out the eyes thing. Ashmat had a bang on that, didn't he? That looks like someone's heart being weighed against coins. Okay. An obsidian heart. Ooh. Masterful work. Aha, aha. Look, we must balance the scales. That's a crafty mechanism and quite ancient. There we go. Right, where do we find the money? This vessel is covered in dried blood. Yep, needs a couple of eyes in there. Oh, I get it. We need fresh blood. And no, I'm not volunteering. I don't think you need to. I think Ashmat can help. What? What? Are we gonna go... Borrow sealed shut and seemingly for a long time. We're gonna go borrow some ash mat. Ash mat's fresh blood is required for the completion of the ritual. All right. Yep. All right then. If I'd known that, I would have brought him with me. Oh, ash mat. Hello, my boy. Do you have anything to hold blood, Watson? Fine. Take my flight. Oh, gross. Oh, it's a hip flask full of blood. Bloody hell. Literally. Okie dokie. So. Blood, blood, blood. Balance the thing. <laughs> Cry lots of blood. Vend. Monk. Monk happy to be out. Monk turns the ship's wheel. Lots of ladies tied to trees for some reason. Monks have party. Monks pay for party. Man gets blood back. Oh, he's some kind of like warden almost. The lever doesn't want to stay on its own. Okay. Is this where we balance the thing? Yeah. We need... Let's see if that's changed anything next door, shall we? Oh, look. No, 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 lads. No, 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 no. I feel like we have to do something on the other side, and that's why... You need more than one. Hmm. A big pile of coins would be useful here. For with to balance the thing. Hmm. 
No, I was wrong. It doesn't seem to have changed anything just yet. What is this for? Hmm, okay. Alright, we got this. I've not missed anything in the coffins. Just some bones. Okay. An obsidian heart. Masterful work. Aha. Oh no way. Watson, hold the lever for me. I must investigate. Right. Okay. Yep. Thanks. So it was a teamwork thing. I just had to ask Watson politely. Understood. In here should be lots and lots of coins. Or not. Up. Oh. Holmes, watch out! My lever went back up. The doors, Watson. Hold the doors. Ah! We're trapped! Now what? Lol. Look around. There must be something we can use. Absolutely. Now look, there's loads of... We need to get back in there, actually. Shoulder level, arm size, locking mechanism. Those holes seem to have a purpose, but I won't risk my arm to find out what. Yes, yeah, very good. Okay, so we've done the whole blood bit. And then... The coins... Basically, there's stuff in there. And I think we need to access it in order to balance the thing. Aha! Wait. Okay. Ah! Ha 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 ha! Any more for any more? Alright. Loads of the bastard things. Am I picking up bones? Am I using bones for this? No, I'm... Oh no, it's just a deep well. Be ready for anything, Watson! Oh! Oh! Yes, please. Yes, please. It's all right, Watson. It's merely a chest with coins and a dagger, made of obsidian by the looks of it. And curved, with Cthulhu's face on it. Two evidence updated. Okay. Ancient coins from the chest, rose from the underground well. So, what we need now is to give the coins... Yep. The coins are placed in a bowl in the world of... Put them in here. It's ancient, though still working. Yeah. Hang on. Ancient coins, pin the coins. It's ancient, though, still working. Well, we need to put the coins. A rather accurate depiction of the human heart. Yes, and now we need to put fucking coins. We need to put the coins. How do I make it do this? Pin evidence. Wait, the coins. Oh, have I not picked them up yet? No, I have. Use these oh, with care. No, I haven't. Let us be the first adventurers to raid a tomb without destroying it. Ho oh, ho ho! Take that, Lara, and Indiana, and all the others. Right, balanced, good. Terrific. Now onwards before they close again. Let us hope our paths converge, Holmes. Let's. Okie dokie. Where's Sherlock? It's cool, H, I cannot bear it any longer. 
Up, 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 up. Please resist the call of Cthulhu. Lost? Everything. Everything is so... Ah! Shh, 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 shh. You're all right, mate. You're okay. You're okay. Which way? Ooh, spooky. Holmes! Go this way? Well, this way. Let's go this way. Okay. Holmes! Speak up! Hmm. Dead endy. Holmes, speak up. Holmes, keep talking. John, John, no, you're not. Not on my watch, you little bastard. Sherlock Watson. Sherlock! Watson! Marco! Watson! I'm coming! John! John, I'm falling! Ugh. Holmes! Please! Oh, there we go. Where are you? This, in fairness to him, this is spooky scary. Oh. Holmes. Holmes, come on, wake up! Uh, uh. Thank heavens. What were you doing? What happened? So distant, uh, the sun inverts, the earth, it becomes transparent. Sherlock, snap out of it. Nothing is everything. We are so small, inconsequential, a shadow in the dark. I... I think we best go back. You are not well, Sherlock. Uh, no, we are so close. Uh, we cannot... You asked that I intervene if I saw you cracking. This is me intervening. Every passing minute, another life is extinguished. Yes. We must stop, Rochester. We must end this. Ah, oh, Sherlock, you almost died. Do not worry about me, John. You have other men to save. Let's go up there and kick some ass. Finally, it's going to turn into a cover shooter. Right, we've gone up the ladder. Careful, Holmes. All right, all right. Oh. Hello, are you all right there? Sir, are you all right? No response. They do not seem all right. Lighthouse Keeper Diary, May 3rd, 1882. The builders from Toba Moir, sorry again, Scotland, know nothing that they ought to. I had to teach them how to change oil. Their one proficiency seems to be asking questions about the caves and where my son went missing. I said nothing at first that when some sort of lord arrived and offered me money for a tour. I relented and showed them around. The man claimed to be a collector of antiquities, but what could he have sought? It was easy money, but I cannot help feel as if I have betrayed this place and my boy. Yeah, that doesn't seem great. It's not your fault, but well, we'll have those keys, though. Ooh. Okie dokie. I thought that I'd seen horrors during the war, but this, this is complete madness. Ooh, a beam. Ooh. What the fuck? Okay, we don't want to walk into this. Oh, we can go under it, okay. The base appears to rotate. Okay. Hands off, Holmes. We have no idea of its purpose. Oh, well, it needs to go into that prism. They are all entranced, captivated by the light of the lens. Sherlock, don't touch it. We still don't know what it is capable of. They're doing the chant and everything. 
In the basement of the lighthouse, there are strange devices that protect some sort of beam. The lighthouse ritual, the path through the caves, blah, 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 blah. Must reach the top of the tower. We've got the keys. Okie dokie. Right. How to stop the ritual? Still not sure. Don't mind my trembling hands. It's not fear. It's a dream. Yeah, he lives for this shit. All right. Hello. Oh, look, they're, um, like, bulbs for the lighthouse, almost. Not bulbs, lenses. The sheer form of it, the colour, it makes me feel uneasy. Oh, they've swapped about out a bad one for the real one. Okay. Ashmat, you must familiarise yourself with the process of charging the Kalid lenses, emit, uh, energising them with beam emitters. The emitters themselves are not complicated to operate, but there can be no more mistakes as our day of reckoning draws near. One such error would be to keep that obsidian toy of yours next to, near the lenses. They are strong in most circumstances, but vulnerable when energised, and we only have a limited supply. Arr. Well, let's smash them up then. With a spanner? Whoop. What we got here? That's obsidian, I think. Black, metallic, and with a characteristic hue. Obsidian yet again. <laughs> I'm, si I'm obsidian a pattern here. <laughs> this material feels very sturdy. It would take an enormous effort to break like that. Okay. Now that should have updated. How to interrupt the hypnosis from the lens. Obsidian dagger. Strain devices with beams. Entranced people. And the warning to Ashmat. Surely. Mm. Energize the lens. Okay. Kalid lenses can only be destroyed from obsidian. The dagger from the cave should suit perfectly. The one hitch is that lenses must first be made vulnerable by charging them, energising them with beam emitters. Well then, let's go ruin these people's lovely afternoon of worship. Do, 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 do. Look out, John! They're not going to be happy about this, I suspect, but... <laughs> That's it! You did it! The lens broke! John, the worshippers, we need to make sure... Of course, I'll see if they're alright. They do not seem alright, John. At all. Mad cultists. Ancient ritual sites. Had I known where this case would lead, I would never have brought you to see Stenwick. Mm. Okay. Do you have eyes? I suspect not. At least this awful mask is breathable. Okay. Check her pulse, can you, Watson? As expected, the pulse is elevated, but within normal limits. Her chest is moving fast. She's hyperventilating. How do we proceed from here? That's my question. Surely we can just go through this there. Yeah, we go. All right, cool. Uh-oh. Stop there, shipmates. A storm awakens and we batten down the hatches. What? Dirty <gasps> summers, I presume. Nice to put a filthy, sweat-covered face to a name. Dirty. That's no way to speak to a captain. Oh. Sherlock, get down. Plug him. Plug him. I told you it was going to turn it. Boink. Jesus Christ. Watson, you killed him. Yeah. I, I didn't have a choice. Well, what's done is done. If we do not stop Rochester, Summer's death will be but one of many. Indeed. I was kind of joking about it becoming a cover shooter, but sure. 
Let's see. The sailor who didn't survive the storm. Mm. The port of London feels so long ago. Forgive me, Summers. Well, this is nice. I mean, not nice, but you know what I mean. This is, uh... They made sure no one could enter through the main door. Ah, but we did, didn't we? Hmm. Okay. What else we got? Yep. I know this company. They make Fresnel lenses. Essential for any modern lighthouse lantern. Okay. Well, that's telling. Pay for padding. They didn't want their cargo damaged. I imagine not. Lighthouse Keeper Diary. April 4th. April 4th, 1882. I've heard the melody again. I hear it in every drip that falls from the top floor to the ground. I hear it in the meditative rotations of the lantern. I can hear it this very moment as my pen scrapes against the paper. Ever since my boy left me, this log has been my only companion. Sometimes I sleep in his bed so as not to see it empty. I think I saw him swimming the other day in the inky sea. His skin was dead and grey, his teeth as sharp as a piranha. He looked at me with salt red eyes, steadfast amid the furious waves, and I saw nothing but loathing in his gaze. That ain't good. That wasn't your son, sir, if that helps at all. Dirty Summer's Diary. Of all the nasty deeds I have done for coin, this, with, this is without question the worst. Those strange dreams become more frequent, but I try not to dwell on them, and yet, life here is tedious, so I cannot stop my mind from returning to the visions. I cannot stare at the sky. I am loath to look at the sea, or Ashmat's face, or mine own hands. Rochester says that soon everything will disappear, be eaten by the old one. It would be a better world, even if I were not around to see it. Yikes. this now. Ashmat Scribbles, a collection of notes Ashmat left himself over the course of the past few weeks. It all went south at that Arneson's place. Him, that pup, and that harlot. I wish the water would take them away. They didn't deserve to be brought here with the others. No, no, no. The underground tunnels call me again. Every time I go to sleep, I wake up in the caves. Yesterday I woke with an obsidian shard in my hand and absolutely no memory of it. Tonight the caves will call me again. What I've witnessed in my dreams is horrific, but I cannot resist. Sounds bad. Sounds very bad. Right, now, beam emitters. It seems they have placed beam emitters all over the main gallery. And we shall use them to destroy the Khalid lenses. Khalid lenses are Khalid. placed inside the lantern room. What else? They modify the gallery and watch room. They really do. They've One done a moment, lot of work. Watson. I'll redraw this blueprint. Lovely, thank you. Okay. I think we can solve how to stop the ritual now. Khalid Lenses weaknesses. Modified lighthouse lantern blueprint. Obsidian dagger. That'll do it. Follow the sabotage plan. We must destroy the Khalid lenses at the base of the lantern as depicted on the blueprint. In order to achieve this, each lens must be targeted by two beam emitters simultaneously and then manually shattered using the obsidian dagger. We may need to work separately as Rochester and his servant will be trying to protect the lenses. All right, fine. We have a plan. Let's get up there. By which I mean get out of the way. Dr. John Watson. Watson. All right. Enough talk. Time for action. Yeah, but first you need to move. My sweet, my sweet fellow, my dear companion. Get out of the way. The, it can't end like this with you r refusing to move. Dr. John Watson, get out of my fucking way. What? What? Move! Move, man! People are gonna die! It's... No, I I'm pretty sure I have to leave this room, John. Alright, enough talk. Time for action. Yes, yes, I agree. I agree. I need you to move, dear fellow. I might need to save and reload. Ah, thank God. Okay. Right, sabotage plan. Okay, we've got it. 
Right, there you are. All right, enough, enough uh, talk. Time for action. Wah, wah, wah. Right, here we go. You cannot return after leaving. Be sure to finish everything you wanted to do here. I have done everything I want to do here. Now I want to save some lives. Tell me you have a plan. Yes. Of course. We shall apply what we just learned, charge the Khalid lenses, and break them with the dagger. That should put a stop to this cursed ritual. All right, good. I confess, I worry about what awaits us. Mm. Is it too much to hope this will all come right? If our future is black, it is better surely to face it like a man than to attempt to brighten it by mere will-o'-the-wisps of the imagination. Come on. We'll go together. Listen, all of y'all, it's a sabotage. Oh, good God, there's loads of them. Look at them all. We have to help them. Watson, stop. Rochester will see you. What should we do? We get answers. Stay here, see to the lenses. I shall confront Rochester. He owes me the truth. Oh, shit. Sherlock! Sherlock! Mr. Holmes, you are late. Was the path here not as you anticipated? You expected me? We've stood here before, Mr. Holmes. Another you, another me. Many years ago. I wonder what will happen this time. What? What are you talking about? Join me. Bear witness to the end. Mm, probably, probably won't. Okay, here we go. to anything, Lord Rochester. You are blind. Oh, how, how could you? It is what I do. No. How could you be so ignorant? For I have never seen more clearly than in this moment. Never felt more than I feel right now. Every fiber of the earth, every molecule reverberates in anticipation of the awakening. The bile of madness rises in our throats just as our master rises below. I see moon beasts, night gaunts, a witch doctor in Arkham. I see what the stars themselves are dreaming. I know more than any man has ever known. You are delusional. How did you do it? The compulsions, the visions, was it some form of hypnosis or no? A drug, perhaps. Tell me. Bah! There is no ruse. There is no big reveal. It is exactly what it seems. You still fight so desperately against this truth, but you feel it too. Yes? Yes? You are mad. You have mistaken hallucinations for reality. Are you really one to talk, Mr. Holmes? Speak truthfully now. In the port. In the swamp. What did you see? Something beyond the capacities of my imagination. Our world so alien, but... But so familiar. Yes, I see it too, in your mind's eye. Untold horrors lick their lips in the shivering dreamlands as Sarnath seeks eternal. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good at all. Right. Next lens. Piss off all of you. Not, not like properly piss off. That would kill you all, but you know what I mean. There must be a path through somewhere. I 
I don't step on my account. Keep chanting if you want to. What? Oh, oh. Honestly, where am I going? Oh, I feel a bit sick. Didn't enjoy that. I'm not good at this. Please stop throwing yourselves off cliffs. <laughs> it's quite stressful. <laughs> I'm not managing to... This isn't working. This isn't working. There's got to be something else. Stop jumping off. Stop it. Oh, look. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I was able to move that a tiny bit. Is that enough? No. Oh, yeah, that was enough. Okay, great. Great, 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 great. Let's go smash. We've got to go back through. Bollocks we have. Horrible. Oop. Oh shit. Ow, it, ow, it hurt. Excuse me. Excuse I said, excuse me. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? No, I need to... Hello? Oh, fuck off. Did I not need to go through there? Stop chanting, you bastards. Oh, shit. Whoopsie. Deadly serious. How do I get to that next one? What's this? It's completely broken. Okay. Well, I can probably grab that one. But it's not that one I'm worried about. How do I get to that bastard lens? Something is missing. Interesting. This could prove useful.
stop it, you little bastards. Horrible. Very stressful. Do these people deserve such suffering? No. They are just tools. Their existence is meaningless unless put to use. Oh, all-seeing master. Oh, grand god beneath. How he has blessed them with purpose. You use them for cruelty. I've seen a man eat his own flesh just to hear the whispers of lizards. I've seen a mother behead her newborn that she might travel to another world. Galaxies swallow each other whole. Light folds in on itself until nothing remains. You know not cruelty, Mr. Holmes. Cruelty is for such knowledge to be beyond the reach of so many. This is hubris delusion. You are Icarus flying too close to the sun. No, no. You misinterpret the legend, Holmes. Icarus flew. He reached heights no man had ever reached. One must imagine it was happy. He burned. Rochester plummeted to his death. And were you to ask him of his choice, he would have not a single regret. Every step I took was necessary. Every drop of blood a blessing. Every death predestined. Surely you understand. It was for knowledge. The only thing worth living for! Why must you remain so blind? Be honest! What is it you fear? I... I am afraid that it will cost me my sanity, much as it has cost you yours. There is no such thing as sanity. There is only the world as it is, and one's willingness to accept it. Hmm. Meanwhile, stop it, all of you. Just let me smash that one. All right. Back with back through again. Okay, so these two beams are currently occupied where I need them. Oh, can I? No, I can't get round. So I should leave those two where they are. Stop it! Stop it, all of you! It's not nice! Well, maybe I can... Maybe I can, actually... No, it's still not that one. Fuck. Stop it! Oh, you horrible bastards.
Great. You, you truly believe it? That a god arises from below that the world shall end? There is only nothingness. Only chaos and torture and endless time. Ooh. Stretching its wings, baring its teeth. It's preposterous. It's nonsense. It's... You, you drug me. Uh, the fumes in the temple, narcotics, a bad reaction. Oh, you're one of my cross agents. Yes. Yes, this has the stink of my brother all over it. No, 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 wait. Of course. I am dreaming in the asylum. Uh, I'm in Black Edelweiss. I'm tied to a chair. You are standing right here, Holmes, as you always do. You, you said that before. You said we had met, but I've never seen you before in my life. The cycle repeats. Old becomes new, and we remain pawns in the hands of a god. Submit! Submit to your inconsequence! It is unthinkable. It is undeniable. It... I cannot. When you have eliminated all which is impossible, then whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. That's a Holmes quote. Oh, Holmes, now is the moment. You know it in your heart. Say it. Say it. I mean, it kind of is all real, but I have to say it's not real, right? It's not real. It's an illusion. A delusion. I am... I am mad. I have become my mother. Oh. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, no, no! You are lying to yourself, Mr. Holmes! Why? If you are not here for the truth, then... You are a diversion! But no more! Rulor Kanga! Oh, Master! Oh, Great One! He has come! Take me! Accept my sacrifice! The world is yours! Oh, he really did believe his own hype, didn't he? Oh, I should have said... I see, I should have said it's all real. I should have said it's all real. Should have said it's all real. Got it. Oh, for fuck! How far back have we gone? Oh, you're fucking kidding me! Last time I try and keep Sherlock Holmes from going completely loopy. Right. You, you truly believe it? There. Oh, you, I, you're. The st it is, a, is it real? It's all real. It's all real. It's... It's real. All of it. It's... It's real. Well, that was worth it, wasn't it? <laughs> had this before, didn't I? Do 
we go this way? We don't go this way. It's pissing annoying now. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's that, isn't it? There we go. There we go. Right. Please just let me... There we go. Finally. Maybe your god is unstoppable, but you are merely a man. And I know how to stop you. What do you mean? What have you done? I have made a friend. Yeah! Uh-oh. No! Curse you! Oh, great one, forgive me! It is over, Rochester. I thought this time would be different. But the gods laugh at man's arrogance. Sherlock! Come back down! The wave! Jesus Christ! Come with us! Turn yourself in! Save yourself! The abyss calls for me, Mr. Holmes, as it does for you! The final problem approaches, and you too shall fall! Just leg it. Sherlock! Please! Rochester, don't! Such heights we reach! No! God! Sherlock, we must get inside. We're so fucked. I have to see it, John. I have to know. Oh? Well, hey, we stopped the ritual. <laughs> but at what cost? Apologies, did I rouse you? I could relocate to the study, but I wanted to be at hand should you need me. No, no, no. The sound of your keys uh, is my tether back to the waking world. I find writing of our adventure helps me too. Perhaps at some point you could read it and tell me if it accords with your memory. Ooh. There are moments in our journey that only you were privy to. Your encounter with Gygax, your visions with Light of the Abyss, your confrontation with Rochester? No. Pardon me? Do not publish it. It would be professional suicide. Uh, you would be a laughing stock, a fabulist, concocting penny dreadfuls for the unwashed masses. And I... Well, I would no longer attract a distinguished clientele, but madmen convinced I could connect them to their deceased relatives or... Help them capture a fairy. Ah. It doesn't seem to get any better, does it? Yep, burn it. Burn it. I close my oh. eyes. John, I am falling. Falling into a black abyss. Yeah, dope him up. That's fine. Sure, why not? It's endless and suffocating and unforgiving. But I would give for a dreamless night. Here comes one. It's going to be all right, Sherlock. What is that? It will help you rest. No, 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 no not that. No, no. <sighs> I say, Watson, would you be afraid to sleep in the same home as a lunatic, a man with softening of the brain, an idiot whose mind has lost its grip? Not in the least. lucky this is not the cheerful denouement I was expecting from a Sherlock Holmes game yep correct unfortunately the right thing to do Watson well that was Sherlock Holmes the Awakening wasn't it how about that that was that was good fun actually. Um, I'm still not 100% sure how I feel about the marriage of Sherlock Holmes and H.P. Lovecraft because, like, obviously H.P. Lovecraft is about learning more things and those things being horrible, and you know the dreadful knowledge pushing you closer to to the Victorian idea of madness. And so, of course, you know what what you know better person to put up against those horrors than a man who is all logic and of course it is compelling that you know he's like oh Christ and you you see he's starting to believe and 
that in and of itself is taking a toll on you, but like, uh, maybe it's just because I really love Sherlock Holmes. It, like, I'm not sure how much I love that sort of marriage. I feel like you can do, you can do Eldritch horror brilliantly and perfectly well without Sherlock Holmes. And I don't know if Sherlock Holmes as a, a sort of a fictional entity is necessarily enriched by the addition of Eldritch stuff. I'm avoid, you know, I'm not saying that like it cheapens Sherlock Holmes or whatever. It's in the public domain, same as same as H.P. Lovecraft. So like, you know, people can do with it whatever they will. It's just whether whether it's specifically being a Sherlock Holmes game, in my mind, enrich the Eldritch sort of uh, story, which I think was very well done. Um, probably not, but I still think it was a very enjoyable ride. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for for joining me on this uh, episode of episode and indeed series of, of Preston Kiedini. That was indeed Sherlock Holmes: The Awakened. What will we be playing? Will we be playing next? I genuinely don't know. Um, gonna find out because as ever my community will be voting on it if you uh would like your say in what we play in the future of press any kiddini you can go to my patreon it's patreon.com forward slash johnny kiddini um and you can uh, cast your votes there when new seasons come up uh, but thank you really just for, for watching and and sticking with me on this this strange and unusual journey um i'm gonna hit space now to skip the credits and make sure there's not a post credit sequence and then we'll uh We'll sign off properly. No, that's it. All right, then, great. Um, thank you all so much for watching this series. It's been wonderful. If you can uh, and are willing to support me directly uh, via Patreon, lovely. If not, then, again, thank you just so much for being here. And have a lovely day. Goodbye.